Helladich is a modern archaeological term meant to identify a sequence of periods characterizing the culture of mainland ancient Greece during the Bronze Age. The term is commonly used in archaeology and art history. It was intended to complement two parallel terms, cycladic, identifying approximately the same sequence with reference to the Aegean Bronze Age, and Minoan, with reference to the civilization of Crete. The scheme applies primarily to pottery and is a relative dating system. The pottery at any given site typically can be ordered in two, early, middle, and late, on the basis of style and technique. The total time window allowed for the site is then divided into these periods proportionately. As it turns out, there is a correspondence between early, overall Greece, etc. Also, some absolute dates, or dates obtained by non-comparative methods, can be used to date the periods and are preferable whenever they can be obtained. However, the relative structure was devised before the age of carbon dating. Typically, only relative dates are obtainable and form a structure for the characterization of Greek prehistory. Objects are generally dated by the pottery of the site found in associative contexts. Other objects can be arranged into early, middle and late as well, but pottery is used as a marker. Helladuch society and culture have antecedents in the Neolithic period in Greece with many innovations being developed and manifesting during the second and third phases of the early Helladuch period such as bronze metallurgy monumental architecture and fortifications, a hierarchical social organization, and vigorous contacts with other areas of the Aegean. These innovations would undergo further changes during the Middle Helladic period, marked by the spread of Minion ware, and the Late Helladic period, which was the time when Mycenaean Greece flourished. Etymology the three terms, Helladic, Cycladic, and Minoan, refer to location of origin. Thus, Middle Minoan objects might be found in the Cyclades, but they are not on that account Middle Cycladic. The scheme tends to be less applicable in areas on the periphery of the Aegean, such as the Levant. Pottery there might imitate Helladic or Minoan cultural models and yet be locally manufactured. Periodization the early, middle, and late scheme can be applied at different levels. Rather than use such cumbersome terms as early early, archaeologists by convention use I, 2, 3 for the second level A, B, C for the third level 1, 2, 3 for the fourth level and A, B, C for the fifth. Not all levels are present at every site. If additional levels are required, another early, middle, or late can be appended. The Helladic period is subdivided as settlements of the Helladic period. These are the estimated populations of hamlets, villages, and towns of the Helladic period over time. Note that there are several problems with estimating the sizes of individual settlements, and the highest estimates for a given settlement, in a given period, may be several times the lowest. Early Helladic the early Helladic period of Bronze Age Greece is generally characterized by the Neolithic agricultural population importing bronze and copper, as well as using rudimentary bronze working techniques first developed in Anatolia with which they had cultural contacts. The A period corresponds in time to the Old Kingdom in Egypt. Important A sites are clustered on the Aegean shores of the mainland in Boeotia and Argolid or coastal islands such as Aegina and Euboea, and are marked by pottery showing influences from western Anatolia and the introduction of the fast-spinning version of the potter's wheel. The large, long house, called a Megaron, is introduced in A2. The infiltration of Anatolian cultural models was not accompanied by widespread site destruction. Early Helladic I The early Helladic I period, also known as the Eutresis culture, is characterized by the presence of unslipped and burnished or red-slipped and burnished pottery at Kora, Kou and other sites, in terms of ceramics and settlement patterns. There is considerable continuity between the EHI period and the preceding final Neolithic period. Changes in settlement location during the EHI period are attributed to alterations in economic practices. 
Early Helladich II The transition from Early Helladich I to the Early Helladich II period occurred rapidly and without disruption where multiple socio-cultural innovations were developed such as metallurgy, a hierarchical social organization, and monumental architecture and fortifications. Changes in settlement during the EHII period were accompanied with alterations in agricultural practices. Early Helladich III The Early Helladich II period came to an end at Lerner with the destruction of the House of Tiles, a corridor house. The nature of the destruction of EHII sites was at first attributed to an invasion of Greeks and or Indo-Europeans during the Early Helladich III period, however. This is no longer maintained given the lack of uniformity in the destruction of EHII sites and the presence of EHII EHII MH continuity in settlements such as Lytheres, Phleas, Minica, etc. Furthermore, the presence of new, intrusive cultural elements such as apsidal houses, terracotta anchors, shaft hole hammer axes, ritual tumuli, and intramural burials precede the EHIII period in Greece and are in actuality attributed to indigenous developments as well as continuous contacts during the EHIIMH period between mainland Greece and various areas such as Western Asia Minor, the Cyclades, Albania, and Dalmatia. Changes in climate also appear to have contributed to the significant cultural transformations that occurred in Greece between the EHII period and the EHIII period. Midel Helladich in Greece, the Medel Helladich period was a period of cultural retrogression, which first manifested in the preceding EHIII period. The MH period is characterized by the wide-scale emergence of minion ware, which may be directly related to the people who mentioned Greek historians called minions. A group of monochrome burnished pottery from middle Helladich sites was conventionally dubbed minion ware by Troy's discoverer Heinrich Schliemann. Graham and Yunware was first identified as the pottery introduced by a Middle Bronze Age migration. The theory, however, is outdated as excavations at Lerner in the 1950s revealed the development of pottery styles to have been continuous. In general, painted pottery decors are rectilinear and abstract until Middel Helladich III, when Cycladic and Minoan influences inspired a variety of curvilinear and even representational motifs. The Middel Helladich period corresponds in time to the Middle Kingdom of Egypt. Settlements draw more closely together and tend to be sited on hilltops. Middel Helladich sites are located throughout the Peloponnese and central Greece as far north as the Spurtius River Valley. Malthian Messenia and Lerna V are the only Middle Helladich sites to have been thoroughly excavated. Late Helladich The Late Helladich period is the time when Mycenae and Greece flourished, under new influences from Minoan Crete and the Cyclades. Those who made LH pottery sometimes inscribed their work with a syllabic script, Linear B, which has been deciphered as Greek. LH is divided into LHI, LHII, and LHIII, of which LHI and LHII overlap late Minoan where an LHIII overtakes it. LHIII is further subdivided into LHIII, LHIIIB, and LHIIIC. The table below provides the approximate dates of the late Helladich phases on the Greek mainland. Late Helladich I The LHI pottery is known from the fill of the shaft graves of Lerna and the settlements of Aurelia and Nicaria, Ios Stephanos and Korakou. Furamark divided the LH in phases A and B, but Furamark's LHIB has been reassigned to LHIIA by Oliver Dickinson. Some recent C14 dates from the Sungiza site north of Mycenae indicate LHI there was dated to between 1675-1650 and 1615-50 BCE, which is earlier than the assigned pottery dates by about 100 years. 
The Thera eruption also occurred during LHI, variously dated within the 1650-1625 BCE span. Not found at Thera, but extant in late LHI from Messunia, and therefore likely commencing after the eruption, is a material culture known as Peloponnesian LHI. This is characterized by tall funnel-like keftiu cups of type 3, small closed shapes such as squat jugs decorated with hat loops or simplified spirals, dark on light lustrous painted motifs, which include small neat types of simple linked spirals such as varieties of hook spiral or wave spiral, forms of the hat loop and double axe and accessorial rows of small dots and single or double wavy lines, also, the, ripple pattern, on, keftiu, cups. These local innovations continued into the LHIIA styles throughout the mainland. Late Helladich II The description of the LHIIA is mainly based on the material from Koura Koui Stali. Domestic and palatial shapes are distinguished. There are strong links between LHIIA and LMIB. LHIIB began before the end of LMIB, and sees a lessening of Cretan influences. Pure LHIIB assemblages are rare and originate from Tiryns, Asan and Koripou. C14 dates from Sungaisa indicate LHII was dated to between 1600-1550 and 1435-1405 BCE the start of which is earlier than the assigned pottery date by about 100 years, but the end of which nearly corresponds to the pottery phase. In Egypt, both periods of LHII correspond with the beginning of its imperial period, from Hatshepsut to Tuthmosis III. Late Helladich III LHII and LMIII are contemporary. Toward LMIIIB, non Helladich where from the Aegean ceases to be homogeneous, insofar as LMIIIB differs from Helladich, it should at most be considered a sub Minoan variant of LHIIIB. The uniform and widely spread LHIII one pottery was originally defined by the material from the ramp house at Mycenae, the palace at Thebes, and Triadra at Rhodes. There is material from Asen, Athens, Sparta, Nicaea and the Atreus Bothros. Rubbish sealed under the dromos of the treasury of Atreus at Mycenae as well. C14 dates from Sungaisa indicate LHIII, one should be more nearly 1435-1406-1390-1370 BCE, slightly earlier than the pottery phase, but by less than 50 years. LHIII, one ware has also been found in Masatho Yukin Hittite Anatolia. The LHIII, two pottery marks a Mycenaean expansion covering most of the eastern Mediterranean. There are many new shapes. The motifs of the painted pottery continue from LHIII, one but show a great deal of standardization. In Egypt, the Amarna site contains LHIII, one where during the reign of Amenhotep III and LHIII, two where during that of his son Akhenaten. It also has the barest beginnings of LHIIIB. LHIII, two where is in the Ulibur and shipwreck, which sank in the 14th century BCE. Again, Sungaisa dates are earlier. 1390-1370-1360-1325 BCE, but LHIII, too, where also exists in a burn layer of Miletus which likely occurred early in the reign of Mercili Tuan, therefore some years prior to Mercili's eclipse in 1312 BCE. The transition period between IIIA and IIIB begins after 1320 BCE, but not long after. The definition of the LHIIIB by Furamark was mainly based on grave finds and the settlement material from Zygres. It has been divided into two subphases by Elizabeth B. French based on the finds from Mycenae and the West Wall at Tiryns. LHIIIB, two assemblages are sparse, as painted pottery is rare in tombs and many settlements of this period ended by destruction, leaving few complete pots behind. 
LHIIIB pottery is associated in the Greek mainland palaces with the Linear B archives. Pulax proposed LHIIIB boundary would make LHIIIB contemporary in Anatolia with the resurgent Hittites following Mercilles' eclipse in Egypt with the 19th dynasty also known as the Ramessides, and in northern Mesopotamia with Assyria's ascendancy over Mitanni. The end of LHIIIB is associated with the destruction of Agrit, whose ruins contain the last of that pottery. The Sungaisa date for the end of LHIIIB is 1211-90 BCE. The beginning of LHIIIC, therefore, is now commonly set into the reign of Queen Tusret. The LHIIIC has been divided into LHIIIC 1 and LHIIIC 2 by Furamark, based on materials from tombs in Mycenae, Athen, Cephalonia, and Rhodes. In the 1960s, the excavations of the citadel at Mycenae and of Lefkandi in Euboea yielded stratified material revealing significant regional variation in LHIIIC, especially in the later phases. Late LHIIIC pottery is found in Troy VIIA and a few pieces in Tarsus. It was also made locally in the Philistine settlements of Ashdot, Ashkelon, Ekron, Gath, and Gaza. Fortified settlements During the Heladic period, a number of major advances were developed including fortified urban settlements with monumental buildings such as corridor houses, which may prove the existence of complex societies organized by an elite or at least achieving corporate proto-city-state form. One of these settlements was Minica, located in Euboea, dated to the early Heladic period too. The settlement covered an area of 70 to 80 hectares, was inhabited by 6,000 minus 15,000 people, and was one of the largest settlements of the Bronze Age in Greece. Another settlement was Lerna in the Argolid region, which was perhaps the most important and wealthiest of early Heladic sites. The settlement has a monumental building known as the House of the Tiles, a corridor house, notable for several architectural features that were advanced for its time, such as its roof being covered by baked tiles, which gave the building its name. The structure dates to the early Heladic II period and is sometimes interpreted as the dwelling of an elite member of the community a proto-palace, or an administrative center. Alternatively, it has also been considered to be a communal structure or the common property of the townspeople. The exact functions of the building remain unknown due to a lack of small finds indicating the specific uses of the building. The house had a stairway leading to a second story, and was protected by a tiled roof. Debris found at the site contained thousands of terracotta tiles having fallen from the roof, although such roofs were also found in the early Heladic site of Akavitica, and later in the Mycenaean towns of Gla and Medi. They only became common in Greek architecture in the 7th century BC. The walls of the House of the Tiles were constructed with sun-dried bricks on stone cycles. Other fortified settlements include Tiryns, which covered an area of 5.9 hectares, sustaining 1,180-1,770 people, and had an large tiled two-storied round house, with a diameter of 28 meters on the upper citadel. It may have served as a palace or temple or perhaps it was a communal granary. Other sites include Ierirene, which covered an area of one hectare and had a population of perhaps up to 1,250. Eutresis covering eight hectares with an estimated population of 1,600 minus 2,400 Thebes covering 20 hectares with a population of 4,000 minus 6,000 left candy and Colonnae, a densely populated settlement with impressive fortifications, monumental stone buildings and sophisticated town planning. Already before 2500-2400 BC, Colonnae experienced remarkable economic growth and had its own administrative corridor house. 
the so-called House in Felsron. During the phase of Gina 3240-2300 BC, which corresponds to the transition phase left Kandi I Castri, the evidence of the economic structure and administrative and social organization of the community become more clear. The White House constitutes the monumental community building that succeeds the House and Felsron, which had the same function. Colin A may constitute the Aegean's first state as it appears to be the earliest ranked society in the area outside Minoan Crete and perhaps a political center in the Middle Helladic period where it achieved state level after the Minoans but before the Mycenaeans. Population Multivariate analyses of craniometric data derived from Helladic skeletal material indicate a strong morphological homogeneity in the Bronze Age. Osteological record Disproving the influx of foreign populations between the early Helladic and Middle Helladic periods, ultimately, the Bronze Age inhabitants of mainland Greece represent a single and homogeneous population of Mediterranean provenance.